to ICO Review, and today is our weekly wrap-up where we go through relevant news for the ICOs that we've had a look here on the channel recently. So let's start off with Acorn Collective, of course, their uh, pre-sale has concluded quite successfully, uh, and hopefully they'll have their main sale announced very soon. So a quick uh, note here from the team via email, it's been nine days since our pre-sale ended, and after basking in the glory of selling out, it's straight back to the planning table. The next few months we'll see intensively focusing on our MVP, attending events and meeting accelerators globally, growing our talent team, improving our processes as a company, and their online shop is now open for business. Uh, one, so now there's apparently Acorn merch available for purchase. <laughs> Get a load of this. T-shirts, hoodies, caps, <laughs> good on them. Really cracking on with the branding. <laughs> And also on Medium, Acorn has given us an article uh, full of insight, actually, as to their pre-sale process and what it was like in and around the office, etc. So if you want to get to know what's happening behind closed doors a little bit better with this particular company, give this one a read. Moving over to AdBank, this is actually a little bit of an older uh, announcement that somehow I missed. I don't understand, really, how I missed this one. An event uh, featuring Gary Vaynerchuk. That is enormous branding. If if anybody watching this isn't aware of who Gary Vaynerchuk is, just Google him. Just check it out. He, the most prolific entrepreneur of our generation. Like, I consume his content on the daily, every single day. So he's got some influence, right? So to see AdBank's name as a presenting sponsor on an event run by Gary V. That is huge, huge for brand awareness and brand alignment. So of course, on, on the Medium article, AdBank supports Generation Now with Gary Vaynerchuk. AdBank is proud to be a presenting sponsor of Generation Now, an event focused on helping shape the next generation of entrepreneurs. The event will feature Gary Vaynerchuk, arguably marketing and advertising's most well-known figure. Other sponsors include Interact, K-Swiss, and Vayner Media. So Vayner Media being uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's media company, K Swiss uh, being the shoe company, of course, did a shoe for Gary V. I wonder if there is some collaboration here being hinted at between Vayner Media and AdBank in the future. So AdBank CMO Angelo did in fact interview Gary. For those of you on YouTube, as seen here on their Twitter, uh, chatting uh, chatting about the future of voice specifically. But uh, for all of my searching, it seems as if the video on that hasn't dropped yet. And I am dying, dying to watch that one just to see the interaction. But as I said, I believe that the impact, especially if Gary gets the Q&A with Angelo out on some of his social channels, the potential impact here for AdBank is astronomical, absolutely massive. The speculation that will come along with that, uh, keep an eye on your token balance. So let's move over to Titanium, uh, with further updates as of the uh, 4th of this month. So two days ago for me here in Australia. So dear Titanium community, we would like to provide a brief update in order to address your concerns. Thank you for bringing them to us and also for your patience while we restructure internally. This process is nearly complete and none of Titanium's products or services will be affected. It seems as if the CTO, Christopher Snook, has uh, moved on. Over the past month, Snook made poor decisions, allegedly, including but not limited to public slander of CEO Michael Stolaire and COO Richard Silver. This behavior is unacceptable and not, and not representative of Titanium. We have initiated legal proceedings to hold Christopher Snook accountable for his actions. Please know that we understand the confusion that has occurred as a result of Snook's inexcusable behavior. Titanium has brought on an acting CTO whom we believe will add much value to our company. As many have noticed, our website has not been updated with information regarding the bar token theft, T-bar fork, and MVP announcement. We're currently updating our website and such discrepancies will no longer take place moving forward. Titanium's development engineers are under investigation. We'll provide more information when we are legally able to do so. Uh, 
T-Bar is still on track to complete tomorrow, and I can confirm uh, that the T-Bar tokens have landed. Uh, mine are certainly sitting in my Ether wallet. Uh, Titanium continues. Uh, Common Hood, Tidex, and Fat BTC users will automatically be handled by those exchanges. We fully expect others to be finalized soon. CEO Michael Stellaire has been working with law enforcement officials and is unable to speak publicly about the bar token theft. His absence from our Telegram and Discord communities is not by choice. And Titanium's new security procedures implemented immediately after the bar token theft will be detailed soon. So in my opinion, Titanium still has a ways to go before gaining back uh, investor confidence and also uh, the confidence of the broader market. However, they are definitely moving in the right direction and I'm looking forward to seeing where they are in a year and hopefully they are still around. Now let's move over AdBank to Naga. So a couple of updates with the Naga coin. First of all, a monthly report for February 2018. Thank you, Naga community, for your support. We are happy to announce our very first monthly report, which includes company development information, news events, and updates for the last month. The Naga coin is the driving force in making social trading for cryptos, virtual goods, and stocks accessible for everyone. Last month was an extremely exciting month for us launching our pre-registration campaign for the fully functional debit card to allow funding by cryptocurrencies. Within 24 hours, 50% of Naga's cards were claimed by the community. Initially, they launched the pre-registration campaign with only 10,000 debit cards available, and in one week, all of the debit cards were claimed. Uh, they saw their community reach an all-time high, growing over 1,500 followers and surpassing the 70,000 milestone across all social media outlets. In addition, they are pleased to announce their partnership with Hickey, a social interaction and dating platform that uses the power of blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. The Naga coin will be integrated in the HKY universe and can be used in their application. By integrating HKY tokens into their ecosystem, this move adds more diversity to the Naga universe where their new users can now experience firsthand the ever-growing platforms in the Naga ecosystem. So I'm stoked for Naga about the card. You know, I this is something I harp on about a lot. Um, I very much want to have a crypto card in my life, one that is reliable. And I think the way Naga has structured their card is really future proof. Not only does a card like theirs move towards the, the greater overall adoption of cryptocurrency for the masses, but also it makes cryptocurrency uh, more likely to be a utility in the everyday world. Now, yes, there are other crypto cards out there, but I feel as though the, the sheer size of Naga and the financial backing that they have ensures that should any speed humps occur, that they have considerable resources to navigate any obstacles in their way, which might not necessarily be the same case for lesser funded ICOs or crypto companies. In terms of the Hickey partnership, interesting. It's an interesting choice brand alignment. Um, I haven't actually looked into Hickey myself, so I might need to turn my eye their way and see what they're all about. And final update with Naga, uh, a couple of new pairs listed on formerly Zytex, now the Naga Trader trading IOTA, NEO, and Bitcoin Cash. And finally, let's end on some notes for the channel. So last week we spoke about uh, 360 Decentral, uh, how we were going to go about that show. More importantly, asking you guys uh, how you wanted us to go about that show. And we had a lot of support, uh, more than I was expecting, especially uh, within Crypto Nebula. So thank you all to everybody that gave us feedback about 360 Decentral. Lots of notes have been taken and I have started building a list of future guests. Some you don't know, some you definitely know. So I'm hoping that this will be the beginning of something fun. And the final note on the screen in front of you, hopefully you can see it. We are so close to 5,000 subs. 
very, very pumped for 5,000. So thank you to everybody that's been here so far. And I, I'm, I'm getting pretty excited about where, where all of this might be going. But for now, I have been your crypto enthusiast, and I'll see you in the next video.